Hello, my name is Mr. Hope. I'd just like to check in. Hi, aren't you Eddie from Side Side Life? That's right, I am, yes. Hi, I didn't even realize we had like, such a famous person here today. Oh, wow. Yeah. We probably would have upgraded you to a penthouse today. Oh. Yeah, we are in downtown Philadelphia. Helen and I have had the most amazing day from start to finish having a look around this place. It is, it's like the, the new castle of the USA. I've absolutely loved it. So in this video, we're gonna take you around and show you what's going on. It's coming up. Welcome back, it's Eddie here from Tyneside Life. I had to kick off the day by doing something I've wanted to do for ages. Didn't ask us why, but I've always loved the allure. I've been fascinated by these typical American diners. You know, the ones that you see in the movies where the, um, the actors are sat in a cubicle next to the window being given top-up coffee by world-weary waitresses. That's why I'm here today. I'm going to Penrose Diner just behind me. I don't know I'm coming in yet. And have a lovely breakfast and some of that fill-up coffee. Can't wait. That's it. We're in, in a cubicle. Next to the window, we've got an amazing uh, waitress called Anne-Marie. Got me coffee. Oh, fabulous, that man. Even, I mean, they must have knew I was coming. Had three cops in here, just like the movies. Can I believe it? Fresh slippy on, ready when you are. <laughs> I love it. Guys, this is Anne-Marie at uh, the Penrose Diner. You've been looking after us, Anne-Marie. And you've, I have to say, for, for Helen and I, you've just made this an absolute treat. Thank I mean it. Thank you. I mean, Man, the hospitality, the kindness, is the big smiles. I've loved it. It's just, and your, your humour as well. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. I love it, I love the land. <laughs> and you love me saying lovely. Didn't Thank you. you. Good. Everything was good. Oh, I loved it. Yeah. Good, good. And uh, tell us about the coffee as well, because I was telling, I was telling you in the UK, you you you, you never get a refill for oh, nothing. Oh no! In, in Philadelphia, you get a refill if you buy food. You buy a meal, you get a refill, and it's like as coffee. And did you say this is owned by the Greeks? Yes, Greek owned. Greek owned. All the diners Stay in Philadelphia are Greek Stay owned. Home, yeah. Are you yes. born and raised in Philadelphia? Yes, Philadelphia. Born and raised in Roxborough. Roxborough. Yes. That's what part was of Philadelphia? What was that greeting you said when you said? How you doing? How you doing? When we say how you doing in Philadelphia, it's not a question. <laughs> we don't care how you're doing. Because <laughs> we have the same. So I'll teach you um, from where, where I'm from. We say, yeah, I'll read. Yeah, I'll read. Yeah, I'll read. Yeah, We would say, yeah, all right. Yeah, 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 right. yeah. So just stand up, just say, two normie. Two army. Two army. Two man army. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Anne Marie. Thank, Thank you, you Thank very you. much. It was uh, a pleasure. Thank you. Okay. Right, we're downtown Philly now, and I'm absolutely stuffed. I have to say, uh, that's going to last me all day until later on, where we're going to have one of those cheese steaks everybody's talking about. So we're downtown Philly. Uh, we're going to jump on one of these hop-on, hop-off buses, so we can have a big tour around, take in the history and culture and everything, learn a few things, and show you around. Behind me here are these famous steps leading up to the Philadelphia Museum of Art, of course, made famous by that movie, you've guessed it, Shazam in 2018. Just kidding. These are the Rocky steps. You've seen the film. Let's do it.
He's got a canny sword on him. I have to say I'm really impressed with Philadelphia. It's a bit like Newcastle to me, although it's a, a lot bigger, but it's full of history and culture. The people seem to be the same. They're really friendly and grounded, earthy type of people. Um, yeah, I really get a good feel about Philadelphia. Looking forward to the next couple of days or so. We're going to be jumping back on the hop on, hop off bus now. Hey, Robbie. It's a bit George and Andy here, man. Neighborhoods behind you. Wham. If you'd like to see more videos like this and be notified the moment I release the next one, make sure you hit the subscribe button. So this little district we're in now on the east side of Philadelphia is the Bruce Street Harbour. It's beautiful, I didn't expect anything like this. It's got the Independence Seaport Museum. Just behind me there with an old submarine and old ship behind that, a, a bigger blue ship called the Moshula, which is, looks like it's been turned into a, a stunning restaurant. I bet this whole place is fantastic at night when it's all lit up. Uh, and across the other side of the harbour, I believe, is the battleship New Jersey, I've been told. But yeah, we're going to have a wander down here, take it all in. Wow really impressed so we've just had a couple of cooled beers at liberty point on a huge veranda up there overlooking the the river and the ben franklin bridge behind it. it's been absolutely stunning loved it i mentioned in in yesterday's video that helen is reading uh, 17th century french poetry and she's uh, gladly actually translated one of her favorite poems into english for us if uh, just when you're ready helen yeah um roses are red violets are blue the smell of Brunel makes me think of you. Beautiful. One of the places that's been recommended a ton of times if you come to Philadelphia is the Redden Terminal Market, which is directly behind us here now. So we're gonna pop in, have a look, see what the crack is. Well, I've been wandering around Redden Terminal Market for about half an hour. I have to say I'm absolutely blown away by this place. It's like the Granger Market on steroids. It's probably about this, uh, twice the size of the Granger Market and it opened in 1893. It was originally uh, for the old railroad, as they said, for the, this was a, um, a, a terminal stop for the railroad from Redden, which is why it's called the Redden Terminal Market. Steeped in history. And the first place that opened here was Bassett's Ice Cream in 1893 and it's still here. Wandering around, I mean, you could come here almost every day for a year and eat somewhere different. The food in this place is incredible, not just the famous Philly cheesesteak, but there's food from every continent and country you can think of, from the Far East, the Middle East, Gated High Street, Indian, Greek, Chinese, anything you can think of, fruit and veg, and the fishmongers, the prawns that I've just seen in that fishmongers. I've never seen any of the size and the like before, they're amazing. Oh, and I wish I was hungry because I'm still a bit full of um, our big breakfast at the diner this morning because I would uh, chew my way through half of these places in, in, in no time at all. Absolutely amazing. If you come to Philadelphia, you have to come to the Redden Terminal Market. Uh, yeah, love it. Unbelievable. That's it. If you're wondering, the hop on, hop off bus costs 36 US dollars. Highly recommend it. We're going to head off now to get a bite to eat and a bit of food and then I have to head back to the hotel because I've got a lot of work together putting this video together. So I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Tomorrow, I've got another cracking video lined up. I'm meeting up with a couple of uh, American football fans, soccer fans, to talk about a subject I think you will find really interesting. Till tomorrow, see you later.